Hi, it's Chrissy here and I'm here to tell you how to fit the EUC bodyguard for the Kingsong 16X. First I want to note that I've covered these in like a glove type thing mainly because I don't want to bleed over somebody's cover and I'm trying them on this wheel all the time. So it just means that I don't grate my knuckles and that's something that you probably want to be a bit wary of when you fit the EUC bodyguard to your wheel as well. Some people find it easier to turn the wheel on. I don't like to do that because I like to pull down on either side when I'm fitting it and the wheel sort of takes off on me. So it's up to you. First off, I'll tell you a little bit about the bodyguard. We have a Kevlar pocket on both sides. And at the back, we have Velcro straps that fit around the pedal. It's, I've got to be honest, it's not the easiest thing to fit, but you're getting, it's worthwhile because you need a lot of protection and then all the holes are in the right place. It's a three to three and a half millimeter thick neoprene with a abrasion resistant fabric on the outer side and it's bound and has hook and loop openings to make it easy and cutouts for the brake lights. So here in the front you will see, hopefully you will see, that we have a light sensor hole just a tiny little cutout for you so that you know where the power button is, your headlight and your USB and LED lights. I really want to point out that we haven't put one in. The very top one hasn't gone in up here. It's too close to the edge and it was just too problematic to do. On the back we have power cut out, subwoofer holes and again the LED holes. You'll notice when we fit this that this sort of comes in and the reason that that's been done is when we started manufacturing these everybody started freaking out about whether they were waterproof or not. I've got no idea how waterproof they are but the angle on that should help keep any water away from part of the handle. So, be careful when you're taking the bodyguard on and or off and putting it on. If these aren't put in properly, you can quite easily catch them in some of the holes. So, I don't want you to get this, throw it on, have one of these loose and rip that off and be a bit pissed off. So, do that. Um, there's no voices of experience here. <laughs> headlight, headlight. It's quite easy, this one. So I find it easy not to have the wheel on. And I sort of wedge it between my feet and then pull it down evenly. And it always helps if you have that undone. And it is a snug fit, but there's quite a bit of wiggle room in it. So we want it to be tight so that the LEDs are in the right place. If you fall off, it doesn't move around. And the extra three millimeters of neoprene on each side 
gives us so much more grip especially if you ride on hills so unhook that hook that down there velcro that up I'll turn it around and show you on the other side now because of the extra grippy sandpaper surface there you can't fold your wheel up but because I've got this on well so you pedal up I can so you flip that down wiggle this to get it into the right position so now you should be able to fold the pedal up you may find that there is a little tiny bit of snagging depending on where the grip tape or evil grip tape as I call it is placed on your pedal we've noticed that they're not all in exactly the same spot so if one is hanging over slightly more it may catch on the binding but just give it a little bit of a tweak like this and you won't have any problems so this should make it easier for you to see undo that bring that round and just press that closed pull it down lift your pedal up and tuck that underneath give it a bit of a tug around there just make sure it's flat against there it actually covers that bit of a gap that's um, in behind the pedal once we've done that let's just give it a bit of a wriggle get that in the right spot now you can give these a reasonable tug I mean don't go attaching it to your tow bar or anything because that's not a good idea but you can manhandle them the velcro just does up at the top now you should be able to see this curve like if you want it really flat in here or here you can unpick this little bit of zigzag stitching here and just reinforce the stitching through there and it will sit a lot flatter but that's designed to help keep all the rain away from in here you may find you've got a little tiny bit of a bulge here but with wear that will just settle down or give it another tug maybe that needs to be pulled down a bit more I won't blind you and there we go any adjustments if you just need to pull us up or down and yes easy access to your ports as I say make sure you close them properly when you're putting this on and off any questions just give us a call or email us because you're probably over the other side of the world or comment below like and subscribe